In this video, we're gonna install your backup server and client and backup um, a client machine into a folder or server. So first, let's run our machines. Okay, so that's our hyper -E. Let's spot up the server. This is taking. I feel like that the server is taking uh, um, a little longer than it used to be. Like in the previous videos, it was uh, up uh, the uh, instantaneously on the login screen, and now it's taking longer and longer. I'm not sure if I'm feeling it the right way or it is actually the case. But I just feel like. Okay, so let's fire up the Windows 10 machine. Golden feature. Okay. Local server, I don't know why. It's for the time being I'm just gonna put Windows 10 it's very weird uh, I don't know why that uh, this will not work see if I enter the password it does not work so before I don't know it's only on the test machine I think it yeah, that is because the, since we are not logged in uh, and the machine gets the IP address once you log into it and right now it's not so when i log into it then it connects to the server dns server that is the server uh 2019 then it gets the um, ip address and then i can log out of the local account and back into the uh, Act active directory domain account that so far i figured i'm not sure if um my conclusion is right or not <laughs> same thing oh win 10 it was win 10 same it's been a week I'm already forgetting stuff Okay, so we're logged in. We can log out, uh, sign out, right? And now, if we okay, disconnected to the internet. Come on. Okay. The eager bell. Now it's it lets you connect. At least that's uh, my understanding is that uh, once I log in with local and it the network adapter goes on and connects to the DNS uh, server that's right here this one <coughs> and then does the thing but now I'm connected let's go and download the your backup um, the bad thing I did is I had installed Opera by this thing in it I should have downloaded it to and installed through um, a remote connection or through uh, software deployment uh, but we'll get to that we can un uninstall it and do that but right now let's go and download the ask me later okay uh, can we go to Google? Um, 
And with server it asks you a lot of, gives you a lot of dialog boxes and and <laughs> you're back up so this is the website yeah you see with server if you're browsing to on a server it just keep giving you all these uh, pop-ups so we're gonna uns uh, install the download this one so basically right now we're going to install the server on our server you can install it on any computer that you want the server to be basically that computer has enough uh, storage to save the images from the clients so in theory you install server on a machine you install client on the machine where from you want the backup uh, so in essence let's say the, the, these are two machines i will install the server on this machine right here that will be my server yes it is a server but i'm installing it on this machine to keep the whole image from this computer windows 10 so to get the whole image including everything i need to install the client on this one so once this server is running on this server computer and this client is running on this computer basically the backup uh, the whole computer backup image goes through the network onto this and this client sends them make the image sends it to server and server stores it and then this is the third thing for, for example you lose the access to all this uh, it gets corrupted or the hard, hard disk is uh, bad uh, you format it or you need to you know you're not able to log in any of the scenario you install this one on a USB stick or you make a CD run it on this one uh, or you you do the, that uh, bootables you need boot from this stick or CD and what it does is it will look for the backup automatically connected to your uh, internet or oh, sorry your local network and when it finds the backup on this computer it will get that backup and install it on it so you get the imaging through the network it's a neat and nifty trick so that's what we're, we're trying to do what i'm thinking is, is what i'm thinking is to create another blank disk in hyper-v and see if i can install the whole back this image into another uh, machine virtual machine remember if you uh, if yeah, when we were installing these uh, server and windows 10 there was an option to just to create the uh, hard disk and not the provide it an iso we're gonna see if we can do that so we're gonna play with it first let's install server we're gonna install the your backup server that is you see up to 10 so this is for up-to-date windows we can get the first one and see if we are able to run it close please don't tell me <laughs> that it got cancelled as well please download okay. click on this one Yeah, let's add close. No download, please. All right, there it is. It's saying save. Oops. Okay, let's save it. Run. Oh, they haven't changed this uh, logo in a. okay it's finished and I hope it pops up in a where are you windows 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 windows
your backup. No results. Wow. So it's not supposed to be on a Windows server. So I have to install and look. Um, Ah, it said server editions, up to date windows. Can we try the other one? Save. Run. Okay, next. This one is a bit different. It does not show up on the desktop at all. Is it in here? Yep, there it is. Server interface. So basically, this uh, for some reason, uh, it's uh, this thing opens up in a web browser. Like you see, you can see it open up here in a web browser. So here you can add new client. That's uh, what we're gonna do. <coughs> I think it's for manually. Uh, I'm gonna click on it and see name of the new why I be host name hand cancel <coughs> that's <laughs> okay we start this directory where your who say backup is inaccessible please fix that by modifying this folder in settings so we click on settings and see your backup because I'm guessing it's because uh, Folder not found. All right. So basically, because there, uh, um, um, in the C directory, that is supposed to be this one. There is nothing called your backup. So we can fix it easily. We can check what the name is. It's saying settings. That's your your backup. We can create a folder over here, and think that should. Uh, do the deed we name it you know your backup there you go and let's see if it fixed and that red oh <laughs> came more than that <laughs> I, a bit more than i could chew um, names are created in the backup store this will need to problem you can disable name generation by running okay dos Do have an antivirus installed on uh, built-in into Windows? So let's take care of this first. We can run CMD, and it's asking us to run this command. That is f s u t i l a t o t three a m e s z c call one. All right, so that was easy. Okay, we can go to activities, come back here. The first message is gone. Now, on access virus scanner, do we have an antivirus? Check Windows Defender setting, virus threat and protections. Okay, maybe there's something. Scan option, threat history. Do we have quick manage? Manage providers, privacy settings. Firewall is on. Click on advance. Okay, advanced open, I think, here. Monitoring. So basically, what we want to do is on access wire scanner on the server, or at the very least, exclude 
Yo Becca Tumor he bought. And that I need to do. So let's see. Um this one should be Windows Defender. Okay, update. And there's nothing and no antivirus. Only Windows Defender. Virus, firewall, app, device. Windows Security. Click on this. Scan option. That protection setting. Real time cloud control folder exclusion. Exclusions, it should be in there here. Let's set something add an exclusion file type folder probably. Again, put that select. Oh, well, then can we put C? Can you put C backups like and there it is? Oh wow, okay, I got that. All right, so that should be in. We can go back, check, and it's there. All right, good. And let's see if we can go to activities and stats, and it's gone. I fixed it. Wow, all right, okay. So basically, yeah, th that took care of it. Now we can go to settings. This is our backup, so we can install, I think, we can install the client now on over there. And client will show up over here. I am thinking, um, you know, this is the first time I'm installing it. Uh, let's do it. Let's. Oh, I am thinking that it will need admin X rights over here to do that but uh, <laughs> that's an edge browser click on Google let's go to your backup download and on this computer we're gonna install the Windows server okay Windows client now Windows client. Okay. <laughs> Server edition without tray icon. Do this one. Like always, run. That's there. Let's see what do you do, and there you go. Let's see if I can put uh, so since it's uh, connected to domain, it's. I was thinking to use the local admin, but no. You can see, uh, it's con asking for domain, so we're gonna put the operator password, and there you go. I was right. All right, something is being done to the domain and see if the client is there it's there you see the red icon no current backup i just noticed it and notice because over here it says uh without try icon that's why i looked here and see it's right there settings add move backup paths logs configure components to backup it's god you can ask me every time Registry Writer, VM, WMI Writer, Windows, Management Instrument. I think these these are the like Windows components that you can add. We don't want to do that. We just want to info. That's just info. Uh, oh, I clicked on it. 
idle internet connection is in waiting for local your backup server so i think it's going to connect over here on that one and we can oh it's running it got connected uh what's our at server that's uh, this is the address what's these if we can go to settings do we see that address no uh file backups client settings there's the cli uh, client and it automatically pick up the name name of that window and i think that it's uh it's gonna run the backup backups this is window 10 can you click on it no backups of this client here logs statistic activities oh it's running all right okay so this is the progress bar basically this computer or oh this beautiful so basically you we can see it's four percent done here six percent over there this is obviously lagging up behind now it's caught up uh, so the full Im image backup is being placed on that computer and it's gonna take this amount of space it's pretty neat I'm impressed that speed is it's sending uh, data at the rate of 400 about uh, now it's 300 but we can stop at show log what will be show log okay so 20 14 14 close it so this is pretty neat 17 percent done so that's what happening oh it show up on the status as well loss scan so basically this computer is being backed up on my server so the client is being backed up over there that's uh, pretty straightforward uh, extremely easy uh, it picked up everything like I did not have to go to settings and give the IP addresses or look for anything it they picked up uh, each other it's just like walkie talkie like they know the frequency um, I am impressed mm, status local not trying to connect not internet server so this is neat this is a uh, very uh, uh, cool actually We can actually, uh, so basically, it's just this one. I wonder, if, uh, like uh, this image, it will have 76 days on it, or it will have uh, more because it was an evaluation copy. And if it's an image, like an image, just an image, if I install it on a brand new. Uh, hard disk and what it will do it will start from 76 it will start from 90 days or for example if I install it uh, 10 days from now it will start from 66 days I have no idea like it go online check the date and time uh, then and automatically uh, did use uh, 10 days So this is interesting on on the client it says 51 over here it says 28 it's not updating on this one if it's not 57 okay I was thinking maybe it halted somewhere but not 
I'm gonna go check on C is the size of C is increasing 33.6 Uh, size of your backup is 377 377 so clients and windows 10 so that's the windows 10 image okay <coughs> so i think if i have a windows 7 machine and windows 8 machine it will put up the backup and make a folder for them automatically Mm, they can get out of it actually go back and see what the size now is well, 5.707 GB okay so let's go to this one 57 activity 72% and this one is going up. That's pretty nice. I, if you remember, <coughs> the earliest cloud storage was a Yahoo briefcase. They gave you like 30 megabits, uh, megabytes uh, worth of uh, storage space online. You could store your files. And at that time, Hotmail was giving you only two megabyte worth of uh, email inbox, and Yahoo was giving five megabyte uh, worth of email inbox. So thirty megabytes online storage uh, was something. Actually, you could, you know, I, I remember I used it uh, to transfer my college, uh, pro like work. Uh, uh, USBs were too expensive back then, especially in a foreign country. Yes, uh, floppy disks were still a thing that you could use, but they were very unreliable in heat, humidity, and uh, um, uh, dirt. So it was a hit and miss. And brand new will work, but next time you don't know if it's going to work or not. And so I used the Yahoo briefcase to. Uh, transfer uh, uh, upload it on that one and in on my college computer I will download it I liked it uh, so I um, then came Google Gmail it changed everything and there was a nice feature uh, in with Windows XP there was a briefcase on Windows XP that it will basically sync up your uh, folder now I'm thinking to combine both of them what if there is a folder on this client machine that I can sync on my server and so it sync up everything from if there is a changes made on the client machine like if I add a, a new file or I edit a file it automatically gets updated over here like this one is an image what if I can specify hey this is my document folder keep an update like uh, have a backup automatically done on this server regularly I am not sure if I can do it not okay the back then it was red now it has turned yellow and it's saying it's backup running 99% done so maybe when the backup is running it turns yellow so when it's done what it will be back to red or white So activities, full image backup, required time, use storage, <coughs> backup is done, it says done, yes, oh we can actually delete it from here, that is very cool, logs, statistics, not there, storage, advanced, internet, this is the board right there and I still don't see that uh, address that uh, IP address that it used to connect it was showing up over there mail is it like a server I'm not sure what it is I'm thinking that one it will send out an email 
once the backup is done I'm just guessing These are all the settings that we can play. I'm not into them right now. I just wanted to, oh, okay. This, under statistics, there was a lot uh, scrolling down that we missed. Maybe next time. Logs, backup, backup is done, activities. So this was a done status. Status, no paths to backup configured. That's weird. Image backup status, okay. Windows 10 lost file backup. Uh, oh, they oh, it turned white. Okay, that's uh, another nice feature. Um, let's see what else we can do. Internet connection it's idle now, no, no longer backing up. Uh, we can click on this do full backup. What do full back file backup? It could be that one. Um, click on this. What happens? Full file backup running, please don't do it. Okay, so it turned yellow again. What is do incremental? What would be incremental? Image backup. So there are two kind of backup. One is the file incremental and image and then incremental image image is the whole system backup I'm thinking and file is just the files uh, if we can click on settings incremental file backups it will take 12 hours Full file backups 30. Image backup 7 days and then 60 days. Volumes to backup. Mm, okay, here's uh, what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that these are all the options, and based on what I'm looking at, it will like whatever the files that incremental image backup is I am guessing that if something is changed then it will every seven days it will check and it will take a full image backup and delete the old one within 60 days that's what I'm thinking same goes for the files as well backup window internet okay Add remove backup parts. This is this was uh, components for Win, uh, Windows components, right? Infos by status. What is status? Status is. Oh, this is status. <laughs> Come on. All right. And it should be. I'm guessing that. I'm guessing what Ah, oh, your domain is not available. It is connected this one is connected and the main is not available close out and remove
There you go. Okay. Headbot. If I click select folder. Oh, okay. There you go. I just click on the first folder that was uh, happened to be document. So I think uh, this will get me a special. Mm, what is there? In documents, there is nothing. Pictures, music, con drive, downloads. Oh, downloads has something. Nothing actually. It's showing up nothing. So I'm guessing that whatever I save in documents will get saved um, on um, on the server. So let's create some documents in documents. Let's uh, do a new folder, a new bitmap image, a new fresh text document, a new and a new compressive folder. Save it. Okay. And click on file backup or incrementing file backup. Nothing is happening. Oh, it turned yellow. <coughs> okay, let's see on the server what's happening. Uh, did we get something? Anything? Activities. Full, oh, full file backup. Show logs. Desktop menu. Well, backups for oh, Windows 10. These two are there already. Static six settings. We can actually. Let's go over here. Windows 10. No, oh, documents right there. No. Change to current. Okay. <clears throat> I am not sure where all the files are. Documents. <laughs> this is crazy um, I thought that will work but uh, it looks like it's not or it did not for some reason though it did show in activities full file backup one minute ago we brought this 2.24 kb and what's the size of these things 29 bytes Statistics, logs, Windows 10. Oh, there was an error. Default parts to backup. Deleting partial error. Okay, maybe that was it. Let's do full file backup or in here.
do this. Status twenty two thirty is thirty four. Nothing happening on the this is idle now, okay. Check logs errors ten thirteen twenty two so twenty five. All backups. Oh, and interval. Thirty. Come on, can I? This page refresh it. Not oh, full file backup. Thirty-three. One minute. Same thing. Whoa. Was it successful or not? Logs. This is 25 errors. Warning. Infos. 25. No. Errors. Statistics. Settings. Okay. Okay. No, that was for file backup. Okay. Okay. 33. So this is 35. This is the last one. Uh, let's go and check here. Understand? Yeah, thirty-three, right there. Documents. Oh, come on. Thirty-three. I'm not seeing it. Nothing. See image, image is 30 and 33, and there's nothing in it. All right, so we get to the point where it saves the backup for the timestamp on it that is basically Windows 10 timestamped but other than that it did not get the, all the files for some reason I'm not sure why uh, is there something in the settings something components settings keep an eye on it we'll keep running it and see if it backs up uh, I will post an update on to whether it did or not uh, I'm gonna end this video here I'm happy that my backup was successful and I figured out that uh, incremental backup did work with a timestamp simply it did not copy all these files all these files for some reason uh, it should not ignore this. Um, all right, so save F2 ADFA. Let's see if I can do the incremental now. Uh, I don't know. Invite a file backup. Is it running? I cancel. 138. Over there, this is 138. It just happened. On server, the time is different. 1038. Okay, so my <laughs> system is on East Coast. Server is on the West Coast. Uh, 
we go Windows 10 38 right there documents and nothing all right I'll keep dinging on it and see what's going on thank you for watching this was it uh, installing uh, your backup on a server and then on a client and verifying that this if you can see uh, this client image got copied to over there it uh, shrink it I'm thinking that everything gets shrinked as backup uh, to save uh, file storage um, but other than that uh, next in next video I will try to install that image into a, another hard disk uh, for now let's close this thank you uh, let's and shut this machine down oh I, I had to show you something else what happens when on the server when you shut down see what happens like this it asks you for all these reasons other plan hardware maintenance hardware maintenance unplanned unplanned installation plan and plan operating system recovery and all these things on a server to click and then uh, uh, shut it down uh, just other unplanned okay so that's that's because the servers they are not supposed to be turned off they are supposed to be run 24 7 uh, then, all right thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you in the next one where we will try to install the image